Hello everybody, Emerald Emblem here. Welcome back to part two of 200% Mixed Juice. Hopefully I fixed the audio problem, so the music shouldn't be quite as loud and you should be able to hear me clearer. So, if you remember last time, we were starting a little battle royale out in the um, schoolyard, so let's move to the, um, well, we wanted to go to the school store first, didn't we? Alright. What do you want to buy from the school store? I've prepared some convenient items for you, since you're so bad at communication. Behold, the magic, the card bending machine, mixed us! This machine contains many ally cards. All you have to do is put money in, turn the handle, and voila! The character card that pops out will become your ally. They won't talk to you like proper allies you've made by forming bonds, though. But they work just as well in battle, so don't worry. Huh? Gaining ability seems really simple. Well, after you see how you've performed, there wasn't much of a choice. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Stop giving me that sour look. Here, just try buying a card with some stars I prepared for you. Right, so we can buy two cards. Let's see what we get. Pete. Now, I can't remember which game he's from. It's the flying game. That much I know, but that's all I know right now. I'll look it up. Okay, let's buy one more. Let's see who we get. May. Interesting. I think I like her. Multiplayer! Hooray! Okay, let's go back. So all you have to do to gain allies is drop by the store and use some stars on cards. Right here then. Now that that's sorted. Uh, I don't remember. Let's go to the first floor. Now where can we find an easy target? Ha <laughs> ha you're the targets. Who's there? President of Ebimanyo Academy Indie Game Club, Sierra. Pew pew! Sierra, I would never have expected us to fight. It is a sad era we live in. I recall the day when we shared a single cup of pudding while debugging games overnight. Those were the times, yet I've not forgotten your sin of eating more pudding than I did that night. And in case you're wondering, QP is the pudding obsessed one. And I've not forgotten how you QA'd our game. How did you report that it was full of bugs? That's because I don't really understand games. <laughs> then it must have been fate that our paths across here. The sad truth, but I'll defeat you and overcome our friendship. Come. Right then. Right. She just has Pio. Um, right. I think it's only fair to let QP handle this. Go QP! Kick that little bird's ass! Ooh. How did that happen twice in a row at the start of a fight? Right, um... It's time to battle again. This time I'll explain about skills. Perhaps you noticed that all skills show an icon below their cost. This is the type of skill. There are three types, power, speed, and technique. Similarly, all characters have a type. Hitting them with the right type deals extra damage. Have you ever played Rock, Paper, Scissors? It's quite similar to that. Your most expensive skill isn't always the best choice. Pay attention to their type. The type of skill dictates the action order also. That can be more important than power. There are also skills that don't deal damage, but have some other effects. Experiment freely. As I mentioned before, most skills use SP. However, you can always use Defend or Evade. Defend halves your damage, while ev Evade sorry about that, gives you the chance to avoid all damage. If you are low on SP, try using Defend or Evade to save SP for expensive skills. Now let's put you've, what you've learned into practice and use skills to defeat your opponent. Right, um... Paper. Ooh! Now that is pretty sweet. Alright, now I have to fight the boss. I'm not very good at this, am I? Ah, fire! Oh, wow. He 
Yeah, it feels so random, but they seem to be getting fives and sixes. But it's fine. I got this. Finish her! Fire! Very good. No level up, though. Shame. Ah! ah. Faint. Such a meaningless battle. Alright, I suppose I just have to go everywhere. Um, to the second floor. I wonder who's on this floor. What do you mean I'm not a proper lady? I do not sense the demonic scent that nobles possess from you. You cannot deceive my eyes of truth. Oh, it seems another group is already battling. You are not a proper lady, for you do not hold the power of dark vagrants. You simply look like one, but you are nothing more than a mere girl. I cannot understand you at all. I am not going to humor you and your nonsense. A normal person would not. Only one who communes with demons can sense these energies. But such may be the best for your well-being. Ugh, I haven't the faintest idea what you're saying, but it really irritates me. Such trifling matters should be set aside. I sense a noble fragrance in this vicinity. The girl with the demonic beast ears. Yes, she possesses the dark fragrance. She is more noble than you. Me? That dog girl is more noble than me? When did I become noble? I cannot allow this. That fluffy dog girl cannot possibly be more noble. I shall prove by force that I am the no more noble than she is. Ah! The girl with the beast ears and that scent that tempts my heart of darkness. I cannot lose to it. I shall fight as well. Why? Prepare yourself. Right, this will be interesting. Um, uh, I'm just going to keep stick with QP now. Stick with the tried and true. Oh, finally. I actually beat them on a dice roll. Fire! What? Oh, no, that's not fair. Oh. Phew! This combat system's really quite simple. I suppose it really all comes down to look at the end of the day. Um, catapult. I should have used that in the first place. That would have one hit KO. Fight one one. Now for Thurnit. Oh six. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh. Well, I don't think it matters. Oh. Okay. She's she's actually stronger. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Let's just finish him with one attack. Fire! And another victory! Will she level up now? There we go. Level up. I lost? It was the power of the dark fragrance. What's this dark fragrance she's talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's the red bean bread I brought for lunch. S such immense dark fragrance. Dark fragrance? The scent of the dark red bean paste? Yes, the ambrosiac scent of beans distilled in darkness is the scent of nobles. That which is known as dark fragrance. In other words, you like red bean paste? I would sell my soul to the devil for it. That's a rather cheap soul. <sighs> I didn't expect my nobility to be nigh by something that insignificant. The dark bread I could not obtain. I wish to consume it. I'll treat you to red bean any time. What a noble heart! Are you the goddess of light? The nemesis of my dark god? If it costs only that much to keep me noble, then it's worth it. And here we have cheap nobility. Well. <laughs> yeah. Don't take it so seriously, guys. This is really not that sort of game. I wonder who's around here. Prez, about our activities for the second semester. We'll talk about that during the next meeting. Let's focus on battle right now. That's the student president Kyosuke and vice president Kyoko. Battle training? Wish I could pass on it. What's the matter, Kyoko? Nothing. Didn't I ask you to don't act so familiar with me at school? Hmm. Don't be so stiff, sis. Don't call me that either. 
I have lost faith in life because of the fact that a freak like you is my twin brother. Ouch. Freak, you say? Is that praise? Why me? Seems like a sour sibling relationship. Hmm. You are? Ah, pleased to meet you, President. I'm QP. Q... Q... Q Peter? Huh? You should get away. He's turned, he's turned on because of you. Look! You came back to me, Cupita! Calm down. She's a girl, not a boy. Fair! He's creeping me out! Cupita, I've been waiting for this moment. Calm down, Kyosuke, or else I'll have to force you to. Wow, the vice president looks just like the president, but she's so cool in comparison. Did I just say that I'm like him? Yes! Oh, did you just say I'm just like him? Yes, you are so alike I almost can't tell your faces apart. <sighs> That's the one thing you shouldn't have said. Ah! There are things people don't want others to ever bring up. But now that you have, prepare yourself. If it won't wi- It- uh, Sorry. If you won't be mine, Cupita, I'll take you by force. Yeah! Here. Oops. Okay, fine. Oh, she's just beaten. Why is everyone weak to my best two attacks? Whoa! What the fuck just happened? Alright then. Oh. I get one so much. Oh god, she's at level 3. Considering they have the same weakness. Ooh. Well. <laughs> it's like Pokemon, but it feels a lot easier. Which is kind of weird to think, cause it's, well, I suppose they're both aimed at a younger audience. Well, there you go. Oh, wow. So all my allies are in experience from battle. That makes things easier. Ah, complete defeat. Ha <laughs> hoo! That was scary! Cupita, why won't you be mine? Open your eyes already, Kyosuke. She's a girl. Cupita is a boy. What are you talking about? Why do you have to be like this? You, come over here. Yes? If you can't believe me, then confirm for yourself. I'll do just that. Haha, <laughs> I knew it! Where do you think you're touching? Unfortunately, she appears to be a girl. Have you calmed down? Yes, sorry for getting worked up. Then let's return to class, President. Alright, sorry for the trouble we've caused. I'll cheer for your success. What was that? Sheesh. Right, I'm not sure how long that is, but I think it's long enough, so... We'll go to the um, roof and the third floor. I believe that's where we need to go. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.